Welcome back to the shed. Uh, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is rebuilding a set of upside down forks. These forks are from a K7 uh, GSXR750, so that's a 2007 model. Um, the bike itself belongs to a belongs to a buddy of mine, and he's asked me to um, do a fork uh, uh, oil and seal replacement. Um, we're not changing any of the springs or changing anything uh, inside, other than the oil and the seals. So. Uh, one thing to note um, is I told him to drop the forks out, drop them over to me and I would uh, do all the stuff, film a little video for it. Um, one thing I did forget to tell him to do is uh, crack off the top the top uh, nut whilst it was in the yolks. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Hopefully it'll, um, I'll be able to get a good purchase on them in the vice. I've got my rubber, my rubber clamps. Hopefully we'll be able to get it undone without too many problems. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have a look at the seals themselves. Um, the dust seal looks pretty in pretty bad nick as you can see the dust seal's got little cracks in it uh hopefully you can you can pick them up on the video uh but there's uh yeah there's quite a bit of cracking on the as you can see there you can see the the gap between it so yeah they're well um well overdue a replacement the the seal the oil seals though um themselves aren't actually leaking any oil the the stanchions on both forks are absolutely bone dry so there's no concerns with that but you know, whilst we uh, whilst we're changing the oil, we might as well pull them apart and uh, give them a good service. So let's uh, get the first one in the vice and uh, get this top nut cracked off. Okay, so I've got it neatly uh, neatly in the vice, nice and solid. I'm using some uh, rubber coated um, vice grips here, so we don't damage the uh, damage the uh, the fork leg. Um, hopefully, this will come undone without too much without too much hassle. Right, let's give it a, oh yeah, that went really well. There we go, so that's gonna come undone nicely. Next thing we need to do is get it out the vise. As you can see, the rubbers fell off me, uh, off me vise clips. Next thing we wanna do is remove the, uh, remove this bolt. Um, from the bottom of the fork leg. If I, you can just see it in there, there's a bolt that holds the damper assembly to the bottom of the fork. If I take this pinch bolt out, out of there, straight down there, you can see it. What we need to do is get in there, undo that bolt, otherwise we'll have a right, it will have a right pain trying to get it apart um, without, the, uh, without the pressure of the spring on. So what I'll do, I'll get in here with my tools, and hopefully, I'll be able to get this undone. It's going to be tight. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Right. So far, so good. Okay, what we need to do next is take the top cap completely off. This will come off with a bit of force. Um, on right way up forks, you don't tend, it doesn't tend to pop. But on upside down ones, it'll, it'll go with a bit of force. So we need to be mindful of that. Fact, starting to lose a bit of oil already out the bottom bolt. Should have known better and put some paper towels down already. Let's get some of these down there. Like that. There we go. That's coming out from the, uh, the hole in the bottom of the fork where I've um, where I've undone the bolt. There's a there's a small seal in there. slide the fork leg down and have a look at what we got right what we got to do here is this this plastic sleeve needs pulling down in order to get to the lock nut holding the nut onto the damper rod so that's what we'll do next I'll have a quick clean up get some of this oil off me and then we'll uh, we'll move on to that to pull it down right then now the aim of the game here is to pull this uh, this spacer down against the spring in order to expose the lock nut which holds the uh, the top nut onto the damper rod. What I've got here is an incredibly Heath Robinson tool which is made out of a piece of scrap iron that I had knocking around, a couple of bolts with nuts. And hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. What we're going to do is 
each of the there's a hole on each side and each of these bolts is going to basically screw into the hole and we're going to lock it in position using the lock nuts and then we can use that to pull it down and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my glamorous assistant on the camera with a spanner to just uh, to just crack off the uh, the lock nut and then um the top nut will be off and then uh, we better pull the whole fork apart so what i'll do next i'll uh, i'll get this put in uh, in position lock it all off and then uh, i'll bring it back in when we're about to pull it down okay then tools fitted uh, what we need to do is with the uh, assistance of uh, my uh, my glamorous missus i'm going to pull this down and she's going to undo the lock nut that's going to be exposed which is right there And there we go. All right, release pressure. That's it. Okay, let go. And there we have it. That's it. Okay, there we go. And the spacer. We'll leave the tool on because we need it on there. We'll need it on there later. Whew, it's a good workout that is. Then the, uh, and then there's the damper. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna empty, as you can see, this is pretty cruddy. I'm gonna empty the fluid into my drip tray. And then we can get the damper out. Right then, drained all the oil out. It was pretty, pretty bogging. Um, what we're gonna do next, remove the, uh, the damper bolt from the bottom of the fork leg. Come on, there you come, you little bugger. There it is. There's the damper bolt. Right. So now. The damper assembly can be removed and there we have it so yeah it's pretty all right there we go smells horrible the the fork oil out of this has been in here probably since the bike was new to be perfectly honest so it's getting off 12 years old Right then, next thing we need to do is to get the seals out. Okay then, so now we've uh, got the damper assembly out. There's nothing holding the two sections together. So let's pop that one down there like so. And then, there we go, there's the... Uh, Rubbish hole, you can see all the splits in it now. It's well past its best. Then we've got the little, we've got a little spring clip here, which is holding the oil seal in place. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one of those in the kit as well, but we'll check that. And then all I've got to do next is uh, get the seal out. Okay, what I'm going to do, lever the Seal out against the slide bush. There's another slide bush in the kit as well. Keep going all the way around. Eventually it'll pop out just like so. There we go. And uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good condition all around really. There's not really anything wrong with them. But um, yep, yeah, we've got a new one anyway. Then we've got a spacer. And then what we've got here is a slide bush just inside. Um, that looks okay actually doesn't look like there's anything particularly wrong with that so what i'll do uh we'll leave that in situ it looks perfectly good 
Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna remove it because if you remove it then it'll need replacing. So I'll leave it as it is. Um, as you can see down there, it's all honking with all old, old oil. So I'll give it a good clean out, give the stanchion a good clean, and then uh, we'll get the kit and start looking at uh, reassembly. Right then, genuine Suzuki uh, fork seal kit. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, let's put that on one side. Okay, pair of dust seals. Yeah. And there'll be the sealing washers for the for the bottom bolt. Pair of uh, new springs, uh, O-ring seals for the top nut to go on there. And here's the oil seals themselves. All right then, first things first. One oil seal, spacer ring goes underneath. The oil seal and let's just pop that in there there we go right what I've got I've got a special seal driver I'll go and grab it give it a little tap in to see it in place okay and I'll use this largely unconventionally just tap Sealing all the way around. I think we're there. Yeah, normally this would actually sit inside like that and be driven in, but it's not really the. It, it, won't, it won't work in this uh, in this situation. So I've uh, I've used it slightly unconventionally, but it's done the job. Right then, brand new uh, brand new spring. Spring in its seat, holding the holding the seal in position. Okay then, right. Next is the dust seal. And there we have it. That is the seal replaced so all we've got to do now is take our fork leg and very gently feed her back inside and there we have it that's the uh, that is the seal replaced on this on this fork leg right what we're going to do now is reassemble the fork so First thing we need to do is fit the damper. Let's fit the damper. And then we need to I need to get that. I need to get the uh, copper washer off, that's what I need to do. Get our little ceiling washer out. Come on, out the back. Come on, it's coming off here. There, I'm going to put that one out to one side. And 
there we have it. Right, what we need to do is screw this back into the bottom of the damper. So push the damper into place. Tighten the bolt to touch. Okay. Right, that's up to touch. What we'll do, once the whole fork leg's assembled and the spring pressure's on it, we will um, talk it all to spec, but for now it's in place where it needs to be. Okay. Right then, now what we need to do is fill the fork with oil. Now, the fork um, is to be filled with oil to a certain, you can either do it by quantity or by uh, air gap. What I'm gonna do is air gap because I think it's more accurate. Um, uh, we, you, you do it with the fork leg fully compressed like so, with the spring and the da uh, with the spring removed, but with the damper fitted. If you do it with it, you have to have the damper fitted, otherwise it'll all just wee out the bottom because obviously you need the bolt in. So don't forget, spring removed, and we'll pull the oil in. Right, what we're using here, five weight. The guy who owns the bike's quite a lightweight. Um, if I can get into the bottle, come on. Childproof cap nearly uh, nearly stumped me. And then all we'll do is pour it in. As you can see, the difference in colour between this and the stuff that was coming out of it is uh, quite significant. And there we have it, all right. Now, as you can see, the level's quite high. What we need to do is pump the damper up and down, get some oil through it. Oop. Doing it gently, not so uh, not so quickly. And there we go. We got fluid through the damper now. Okay. Give it a little top up. And there we go. Give it another little give it another little pump. A nice clean fluid. And there we have it. Right. What I'm gonna do next is get my little tool to uh to uh, sort out the air gap in the top. All right then, what we're gonna use to uh, get the air gap right is this little tool here. Um, I don't know if you can make them out on the camera, but it's little graduations. And what I've done is I've set this to the uh, to the setting that this fork requires. The 07, 07 Jixer requires a 112 mil um, air gap at the top. So this is set to 112 mils. And as you can see, it's basically a uh, a syringe which doesn't want to move for some reason. It's... There we go. Basically, a syringe, and that drops into the fluid like so. Can you hold the fork leg for me? Right, and then all we do is draw fluid out, just like so. And we keep going until such times we start sucking in air, just like that. As soon as we're sucking in air, we know that that fork uh, air gap is 112 mil. Okay, and then all of this can just go back into the bottle. Just like so, where it'll be used for the next leg. Okay, now then, right. We know we've got the right amount of oil in there. Hopefully you can see inside. That is the correct air gap. Right, now what we can do is we can continue 
reassembly of our of our fork. But what I need to do is grab the damper very slowly, not too quickly, otherwise all that will happen is it will squirt oil out at me. Okay. Reassemble it then. Let's get the let's get the spring in. Right then, what we need to do is hold the damper rod up, get the spacer in, fit. Hang on, love. Sorry, it's too quick. Has it gone right down? Yep. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Ooh. Okay, we've got the top nut on. Ooh, it's hard work that. Right, we've got the top nut on. What we need to do is just hold the top nut still and then just knit the uh, knit the lock nut up and then we can pull the fork tube back up and uh, screw the two together. So, ready, go. Hang on, you can probably screw it up by finger first. That's it, all the way up and then just nip it off. Yeah, I can't get any more than that. That'll do. And there we have it. Right. Let's get the tool off. And then we can button the button this fork leg up. And there we have it, right. Let's give it a bit of a bit of a wipe down. And there we go. Right. What we need to do next. Actually, one thing we nearly forgot. We very nearly forgot. Is the little fork seal. Yeah, the top nut seal goes on. Just like so. Fox Hill, uh, sorry, the uh, that fork leg completely rebuilt, fresh oil, fresh seals. Job is a good one. Okay, so that's one, one completely done. There we go. What we'll uh, what we'll do. I'll um, torque up the uh, the damper bolt at the bottom. It is it is nipped up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good. Uh, I'm gonna have a look in the uh, the manual and give it a torque, uh, and then that one uh, can be torqued up once the forks assembled back at the bike because with the triple clamps holding the fork it makes it a darn sight easier. So yeah, that's uh, that is how to uh, rebuild a GSXR um, fork leg. Um, obviously, any upside down. Any upside down fork is going to be the same, uh, but uh, yeah, happy days. Um, all that remains for me to do now is uh, the other one, but hope you like this video. Um, if you did, then uh, 
please feel free to uh, like, subscribe, comment, and um, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you along for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.